Hello, NBBs. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. And my name is Ruth for the new viewers. It's been a really long time since I came live uh, with you. And um, I'm doing it surprisingly. Like, I didn't announce it that I was coming live. But it's okay. It's one of those things. So today is my wash day. And um, it has passed seven days since last time I washed my hair. And uh, I've decided since I'm at home today, relax. Let me just come live and show you how I'm pre-pooing my hair. And uh, today is also day seven of our NBB uh, Fenugreek Challenge. This is the second challenge of the year. The first one was a success, and I'm really praying that this one will also be a success. If you've not joined yet, make sure you join because we are going for two full months. <laughs> so there is time to join. So let me go ahead with my pre-poo. Let me show you what I'm using to pre-poo today. So this is the liquid I'm going to spray on my hair. And this is a mix of onion juice and then what else? Um, um, hibiscus. Uh, I'm not showing you the onion because you already know how onion is. So you can use either red onion, yellow onion, whatever type of onion you want. Hello, Denise. Thank you for checking in. Yes, let's check in below if you are watching. Just write where you are watching me from and what's the time at your side. Over here in Italy is 11.28 a.m. And then this is the hibiscus I use. This is the same hibiscus you can use to make your, to prepare your tea. So there is nothing different. So what I did is I put a pot of water on the fire. Then I cut a quarter of an onion or half. No, I think it was a quarter. I cut a quarter of an onion in it. And then I added few um, leaves, few flowers of the hibiscus. Then as soon as it boiled, I just remove it from the fire and let it soak in for about 30 minutes before I then I sieve it, I heat it again. Now, in this bottle, I already had a little bit of rice water. It was up to here. So I didn't throw it away. I just um, added it. So inside here, we have rice water, onion, um, onion juice, onion water, I may say and hibiscus. Then I added um, three of my favorite essential oil, just one drop uh, per each. I added tea tree oil, then I added peppermint essential oil and rosemary essential oil. Now, if you don't have all these things, no problem. You can do it very simple. Uh, as just like using water. You can just use water, heat it up. If you have only the hibiscus, you have, use only the hibiscus. Or if you have only onion, you use only onion, okay? So don't worry, it doesn't have to be uh, precisely like this. You play with it. I don't do it the same every time. I change it from time to time. So this is warm. It is not hot, okay? Um, Niger babe watching from France. Thank you, darling. I can see you have... Um, you are writing from the group. So unfortunately, I can't see your name unless you give access to StreamYard to write your name, to show your name, okay? So as I was saying, um, this is warm. And after spraying this on my hair, I will go ahead and apply this warm oil. This is a mix of just two oils, extra virgin olive oil and castor oil. These are my two favorite oils. If you have other oils that you, you know your hair likes, just go with those ones, okay? You can see it is green. Why is it green? It's green because I've infused them with herbs. And the herbs I use are, I think inside here I have spirulina and uh, moringa, either moringa or false daisy, all right? I think it's more of moringa. So this is infused with moringa and spirulina. And this is why it has this uh, green color, okay? All right, so let me go ahead. I was thinking, should I lose my hair and apply it or should I let it be? Okay, let me do it like this. Let me spray the water first. Ugochi. Oh, my sister, thank you for joining. You're welcome from France. Yeah, Niger babe forever. Okay, so let's go ahead. So I'm spraying this mix um, on my scalp and on my hair. It's good to pre pull on damp stroke wet hair. I don't like uh -oh, what happened. It's blocked. I don't like pre pulling on um, on dry hair. It doesn't make sense to me because my hair will just remain um, dry and it will not absorb the um, 
uh, the the oil. So free pool on wet stroke damp hair. This mixture that we are using is very good for the hair, but this is also very, very good for your scalp, okay? So make sure you release a good amount on your scalp as well. All the ingredients I mentioned that are inside here, and they are a powerhouse actually, because it helps with dandruff, it helps to condition the scalp, it helps to reduce, if not to remove completely, um, scalp itch, okay? If you are one of those type that has scalp itch, I really, really, really recommend you to do this mix because it is very, very good. You know, it's long I've used hibiscus on my hair and I was like, ooh, why are you not using this wonderful herb that you have? I was only drinking it, which is also good to drink it, okay? Hello, Eddie. Thank you for joining. Hello, uh, say, say, say you me, please. Forgive me if I didn't pronounce your surname very well. Please forgive me. You're welcome as well. And I'll try. I pray God give me the strength and um, the power, the knowledge, the wisdom, everything that I need to become in life more often as I used to do um, some years back. I remember some years back, I would be live like two, three times in a week, updating you with my hair. And that also helped my own journey, actually, because um, I noticed that my hair was very nice. Not that it's not nice today, but I think it was nicer a couple of years ago when I used to be more regular coming live with you, showing you how I was taking care of my hair. So, ladies, I am resuming. Uh, would you place the left the leftover spray mixture in the fridge for the next wash day. Uh, no, because actually I am probably going to use all of this because when I'm going to shampoo, I will still spray this on my hair before I shampoo. But yes, in case you have a leftover, you can just freeze it, okay? You know those uh, baskets, those baskets with freeze ice cubes? Okay, just pour this one in it, in it the left one in it, and freeze it so that it can last even for weeks, months. So you can prepare a badge for a whole two months of this, and then you freeze it. When you need it, you just take out the quantity that you need, you unfreeze it, and then you, you use it. I hope I was clear, Chica. Let me know. Well, pre pooing is something that I always do. I try not to miss it because I noticed that since I started my hair journey, since I started taking care of my hair again, um, it was um, it has made my hair more manageable, especially when it comes to detangling. Now, many of us, we have the feeling that our hair is not growing because maybe we've been natural for, um, I don't know, long two, three years, and our hair is not the length we expect because um, we feel it's not growing. But the truth is that the hair from the roots is growing, but it breaks at the ends. And when the roots is growing and it breaks at the end, it looks as if the hair is not growing. But the problem is that we are not having what it is called length retention. Now, I solve that by doing pre pulls Yeah, because most of the time, I noticed that I had a lot of breakage during the detangling, okay? You're welcome, Chica. Thanks to you. During the detangling, I had more breakage because my hair was not ready for the comb, was not ready at all, so it was breaking. Now, since I've started to pre pull now I'm going to spray it. I've, I've finished with my scalp, so I'm trying to spray it on my hair now, on the length of my hair. So since I started pre pulling with oils, it added a lot of sleep on my hair. So adding sleep will make the comb to slide down very, very easily on the hair. So since it is sliding down very easily, it makes, it reduces hair breakage a lot. But then what um, uh, pre pulling helps in, it also helps to um, allow your hair to be moisturized for longer after the wash day, all right? Hello, Thula, you're welcome. Thank you for joining. You catch me live today. <laughs> so what it also does is that it also helps 
your hair to retain its moisture after the wash day for days, days. And what I noticed since I started to pre pull using infused oils uh, with the herbs, I noticed that my hair could remain hydrated and moisturized even for a full week until my next wash day. So I really, really recommend you to do it. When you start doing it, you only have to find what are the oils that works for you. Guys, it took me years to understand that my hair loved um, castor oil and extra virgin olive oil, okay? It didn't take me just um, one application, two application. No, the way I did it is I was trying. I was just trying. I would use one oil to pre pull for one month or two months and see if my hair likes it. If you watch my previous videos, the oils I started using now, I am massaging my scalp so that um, I will get this wonderful mix I've prepared to saturate my scalp and to be absorbed in the scalp because that is what we want. We want this beautiful thing to be absorbed in the scalp. So I'm just massaging my scalp uh, just a few seconds, nothing much, so that it will absorb it. Then I massage my hair so that it will absorb it. All right. So as I was saying, especially when I started to pre pull with infused oils, wow, I noticed that it was a game changer. My hair became thicker. My hair became very, very thick. And then um, I had less breakage. My hair was retaining um, moisture for a whole week. So I'm like this period because I was trying different things. I've stopped using the things I know my hair likes. So you can see the hair is hydrated now because of the curls at the end, especially that are popping. So it is now time to apply the warm oils. For those who are joining just now, this warm oils is a mix of castor oil and extra virgin olive oil. And I've inf they have been infusing for like a year, <laughs> okay? If not a year, it will be like eight months that these oils have been infusing. I didn't bring along with me the, the, the jar, but I will do a video this week uh, showing you how to infuse your oils. So, and the, and the herbs that I'm infusing here are uh, moringa and spirulina okay so now i'm going to apply the oil on my hair let me lose the twist you know so that um, it will be i can i don't know i just feel like losing my twist but if you want you can apply the oils with your hair still in um in twist okay all right so one two three you know i like working my hair in sections I see some naturals, they will just um, apply the oils on their hair while it's not divided in section. Well, you know, we are all different and different things works for different people. And I noticed that I get to cover the whole of my hair better when it's divided into sections. So I, I really prefer to work in my hair in section. So now I have the container in front of me. What I do, uh, I just dip my hand. Let me show you. I just dip my hand in the container like this, and then I apply it on my hair. If you have an applicator, you can use an applicator, but um, I prefer to I prefer to feel my hair. I prefer to feel it, and um, so I, I just like using my fingers. <laughs> now you can see my hair is getting more. It's getting longer, but sincerely, what I'm looking for is to get my hair to be thick as it as it, as it used to be before. So you can see how thick my hair is here, and as it is going, it gets it gets thinner. So my aim throughout this year is to get the hair that is growing to fill up all through. So that is my goal. Actually, I prefer. I, I feel good with myself when I have full hair than, um, than a length, even though both of them will be coming. When you take care of your hair, both will be coming, but um, I'm looking for, for, for volume. So let me know in the comment section, what are you looking for? Are you looking for volume or are you looking for definition or are you looking for 
uh, length. What are you looking for? Let me know in the comment section. So today is day seven or eight after my last wash day. So as I'm pre pulling surely I'll be having seen some of the shedded hair that will be coming out and that is extremely uh, normal, but I'm not going to detangle my hair now. I'll detangle my hair later. Mm. All right, so now I've applied the oil to this section and then I twist it. I twist it for two reasons. Number one reason is I know this section is done. <laughs> So I'm not going to get confused later. And number two reason is I don't want my hair to get tangled. I have very kinky hair. So when I lose, I leave it loose. After a while, it starts to shrink. And as it's shrinking, it will be getting more tangled. And I don't want that. So that's why I twist it. Okay. So I just put it like this. You know, it's for commodity. But you can put it however you want. Did I do it well? No, let me do it again. <laughs> okay, like this. Uh-huh. Sayemi says volume and length is what's up, is what I want. You will get it, girl, as, as long as you, you, you keep on taking care of the hair. You know, most of the time we are looking for an easy way to take care of our hair and to still reach our goals. You know, that depends. It really, really depends. I remember the first years of my, of my journey, I was very, very lazy extremely lazy so i was watching all those youtubers that they just needed to spit on their hair to let it be beautiful with volume and length and i started doing the same thing and my hair was like ruth what you doing you don't have i'm not like that i'm not that type of hair i'm the type of hair you need to spend time and invest time to take care of it so i i was like after years of being lazy i was like okay ruth it didn't work. <laughs> just go back. Just not go back. Just find out what works for you. Okay. So I understood that I have a type of hair. Where should I put this one? Should I add it here? Yeah, let me add it. So I just I just started to pre-pull and my hair likes it. So it all depends from the type of hair you have. If you have hair that is very easy to grow out, that is it. But if you don't have that kind of hair, then you, we need, not you, because I also don't have that kind of hair. We need to step up our game, understand what works for our hair, what our hair likes and works and works with those. Okay. The new sale, looking for volume. Me too. I so much love volume because I don't know. I just like volume. And you know, the issue, the point is that when you have volume, the length will also come. Uh, Tula say my goal is volume, length, and strength. Oh, wow. You know, then you should pursue strength because once you have the strength, the volume and the length will come. You know, all these characteristics, they are all, uh, how can I say? It? They are all intertwined. They are all together, you know? So when you get one, it will bring the rest. So when you get healthy hair, it will bring the volume. And uh, and and need to bring also the the the, the length. Um, unless you are cutting your hair every time, then the length will not will not come. But you know, last year was a tough year for my hair throughout. Actually, it was a tough year, so I lost a lot of my volume. I lost a lot of my volume. I trimmed my hair uncountable times last year, and um, this year I'm like no. I'm not going to use products I know that will give me scalp itch any longer. <laughs> so I know I'm doing the right thing now because my hair is growing from the roots. Uh, the length is there. But, you know, since I had the breakage last year, uh, at the beginning of last year and then at the end of last year, um, I know I can't just get the volume right now immediately because hair takes time to grow, okay? Honestly, this natural hair stuff is stressful and time consuming, more especially when you you and your daughter is in same boat. You know, that is so true because when you have a second head, a third head to take care of is 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 really, really uh, somehow. But that is why I I really advise you to look for the products that works good for you. Because when you find those ones, your hair will retain. Uh, more moisture for days so you can go with styles that last um that last more 
with styles that not styles sorry yes you can go with styles that last more because you know that your hair can uh can can stay even for two three weeks be, without a wash day but just moisturizing it you know but yes it takes time especially on wash day but wash day is the most most important part because when you are able to do the wash day properly then you are set for the rest of the um of the week or of the two weeks based on how often you wash your hair and when you do that consistently your hair becomes uh, more healthy and more healthy means that you have the opportunity to break the rules sometimes and uh, without having to destroy your hair again. What I mean is that you are always regular with your hair schedule. The day maybe you can't do it because of one or two reasons. You can't do a proper wash day, but you just do a simple wash day very fast. Your hair is not going to suffer to suffer it. So, and then one thing I notice is, it's like the more the hair becomes long, the easier it is to take care of it. I know this seems to be, strange but think of it when your hair is longer you can do bigger twists doing bigger twists takes less time you can just do a bun a bun can last even for two weeks all right and a bun is a very simple and very very fast style to to do but it's, it's one of those things we really need to give it um it's time because um that's how it is. <laughs> so unfortunately, there is little we can do about that. But and that's something I had to come in terms with. Because as I said at the beginning, I was always looking for short ways, uh, simple ways to do my hair. And my hair was suffering. Look at how length, look at the length I've had. Oh, my goodness. Look at the length. So the length is there, but I want the volume. <laughs> I want the volume. So if you notice, what I am doing right now is uh, after applying the oil, let me apply it. And this oil is so thick because of the castor oil that is so thick. Look at it. I love the feeling. It makes my hair to feel soft immediately. So I just apply it to the length. Then apply it on the ends. If you want to retain length, don't forget this part. This part is very, very important because it is um it is a part that breaks so easily since it is the oldest and it is weaker. Now, after I've applied it to the length of my hair, I go ahead and section it. Okay, I'm sectioning it because of two reasons. Number two, I want to make sure that the oil gets also to the uh, lower parts of the hair. And the second reason is that I want the oil to get on my scalp as well. Yes, because it is very, very good on the scalp. pre your 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 scalp as well, reduces dandruff, reduces uh, scalp dryness, it reduces uh, scalp itchiness, it conditions the scalp as well. Oh, what's happening here? You want to stay out? No, 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 no. You have to go inside. And all this helps to get our scalp to produce healthy hair. And the fact that the oil I'm using, I infuse with uh, these herbs is another bonus because the, the good thing, the minerals and the vitamins that are and the fatty acid that are contained in this um and these herbs will condition my scalp as well. So I'll finish with the front. I have four sections at the front. Let me go ahead and do the back. For example, if you are a mom, you know, you are in haste, uh, there is no need to do it the way I'm doing it right now. You can apply the oil straight on your twist without untwisting it, okay? I am untwisting it now because I feel like untwisting it. I want, I want to. On twisting it. I want to see my hair. I want to feel my hair. So that's why I'm twisting it. But you can do it on twisted hair as well. You can shampoo. When you are finished, you shampoo on your untwisted hair. I think I have a video on that. I have a video on 
a complete wash day with my hair in twists. And then I have a video on how to take down the twists and, and retwist the hair. So you can check it out on, on YouTube or on Facebook. Okay, so now we are in this section. I want to show you my hair. I don't know if some of you remember last year I showed the hair on my nape, how it is growing well. Look at the length it has gotten now. And at this, in this section of my hair at the nape, I didn't have any hair up to two years ago. Okay, I didn't have any hair. The hair started growing last year and look at it now. I mean, it's, it's, it's almost reaching to this one, to the rest of this section. And this makes me so happy. I lost my hair over there um, a couple of years ago when I had a severe um, dermatitis reaction over there. And um, I was having a, an open sore on my nape. And so I lost all my hair. That section was very, very smooth <laughs> without any hair. So I was like, I thought like, oh my goodness, am I going to have any new growth over there? And taking care of my hair, doing the pre poo massaging my scalp, using the herbs, and my hair has grown back over there. I tell you, sometimes it can be stressful, but it's, it's really, how can I say it? Um, it's satisfying to see that uh, what you are using is, is really, really working. So I was very happy to see my hair growing over there. I didn't even know it was growing back. By the time I realized, I already have like two centimeters of growth. And I was like, whoa, when did this happen? So when I noticed, I started focusing more on that area, especially when I'm doing uh, treatment. I tried to apply more products on my nape so that uh, my nape will never miss any treatment. All right. So I have five sections that are done right now. This is... Um, Yes, this is the sixth one. And I apply the oil. Did I tell you the oil I'm using is also warm? I warm it up on fire on Ben Marie. Don't warm your oils in the microwave because it will destroy all the nutrients that are inside and it will be very sad. So if you're watching this video and you like it, you can share it so that other people will see it and we get MVB known everywhere okay so now i'm sectioning the deep condition i'm doing today is also going to be with fenugreek but i'm using a new uh, method that I, I i never used because of laziness but i'm using that method today i'm videoing the process so that you can see it but let me anticipate to you the last week i used uh, fenugreek to deep condition and as I said, in, even in the video on YouTube, whenever I use fenugreek to deep condition my hair, my hair feels um, strengthened the first two, three days. And then from the, from the third to fourth days, it becomes extremely, extremely soft. But I didn't notice this happening this time around. And I was confused, like, what's the matter? And the type of fenugreek I use, the brand I use, was the first time I used that brand. So when I did a little bit of research, I discovered that the quantity of mucilage in fenugreek changes based on the brand. And the mucilage in fenugreek, sorry, I'm trying to get rid of the shredded hair from my hands, all right. And the quantity of mucilage depends on each brand. And uh, the mucilage is that component that, give, that makes the hair to be very, to feel very soft after some few days. So I concluded that, all right, it means this brand doesn't have a lot of the mucilage because from the third, third, fourth day, my hair was feeling softer, but it doesn't feel the way it used to feel with the other type of brands of fenugreek that I use. So I decided to try preparing it um, yeah, with another method. And, it's supposed to last for 12 hours preparing it, but 
I can't wait for 12 hours. So I would, I'm doing it in six hours. Don't worry, I'm going to show you everything. Let me show you, let me finish with this section and show you the fenugreek that is relaxing and infusing. The ingredients I use till now are only uh, the fenugreek and uh, water. That's it. But I would definitely, I would definitely add uh, maybe maybe a banana, honey, surely honey. You know, I, I, I always like using honey in my hair. Okay. So let me section it. I like my the hair in my back. The hair in this section of my hair, it is always, always, always so full. It's full and thick and beautiful. And I like it. I just like it. Uh, can I add amla powder to my fenugreek? Yes, of course you can. The only thing is that amla is very good. It's very good to strengthen the hair. It's very good to uh, promote hair growth and keep your hair healthy. But I don't know if it has the same effect on your hair. I noticed that amla uh, strengthens my hair. So when I'm adding it to a deep condition, I always add a very small a spoon, like only one spoon. I don't add more than that. And um, if I'm doing a protein mask, then I go in with with two, three spoons of um, of amla. But yes, you can use um, amla to. Uh, you can add amla with uh, with fenugreek. Um, amla is one of those cream, those herbs that I really have to infuse it in oils so that I will be using it. Um, as um, uh, to pre poo or to mix it with my uh, shea butter. You know, these herbs, um, many of them, they have a strengthening effect on the hair. So to use it as um, only, to use only them to, as a deep condition, can make your hair to feel a little bit stiff. But they have very good components. They have very good minerals, very good vitamins, very good fatty acid in them. So I found out that the best way to use those oils is to infuse them, uh, those herbs, sorry, is to infuse them in oils. Yes, because when you infuse them in oils, you are going to have all the good properties without the strengthening. And those oils, you can use them uh, to pre pull your hair, you can use them to mix a little bit in your deep condition. You can use those oils uh, to, mask to massage your scalp during the week. You can use those oils uh, to mix your shea butter, you see? So it's like you have them at your disposal 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. All right, make sure you apply them on your scalp. All right, don't leave any parts. So at this moment, I am very, very slow. Um, I am very slow because I'm live with you, but on um, if I wasn't live, by this time I would have finished um, um, applying the oil on my hair already. But because I'm live with you and I'm talking, I'm going slow, I'm taking my time, I'm relaxing. <laughs> so that is why it's not um, very, very fast. If you've not watched my video, my latest video on YouTube, on how to do your scalp massage using tea tree oil as an essential oil. Go and check it because uh, we are on the fenugreek, NBB fenugreek challenge. And the challenge doesn't include only using fenugreek because whenever Lady Chihuahua, Lady Chihuahua, sorry, not Chihuahua. Uh, how are you? At least today you are live from Milan. Yes, after a long time, after months actually of not coming live, I am now live again. And I promised myself, lady, I promised that at least once a week I have to be live because um, I watch my old videos of like 2017, 2018. I was always live. Whenever I was doing my hair, I was live with you guys, if you can remember. And I noticed my hair was thriving so well. And I realized, and that was because I was always live with you on time, every week, very punctual, showing you, talking to you. So I was doing it better. I wasn't in a haze. Um, I wasn't cutting my hair here and there. So I'm like, wow, MBB helped me 
a lot. So I'm back at it right now. When you see I'm not like girls, just just pin me on um, in the group. Like, oh, you put, where are you? We are waiting for you so that you take care of your hair. <laughs> because going light, I think it helped me more, more than it helped it help you actually. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I'm pre-pulling my hair. I sprayed my hair with a mix of rice water, fenugreek tea, um, hibiscus. Then I added a few drops of tree essential oils. Um, I use um, tea tree essential oil, peppermint, and rosemary essential oil. So after applying that to my hair, I'm now applying um, the oil, and which, which are infused oils with moringa and spirulina. The oils I use are uh, extra virgin olive oil and castor oil, my two favorite um, oil. My two favorite. Yeah, because you were giving you motivation. Exactly. <laughs> I was giving myself motivation. But now I find myself sometimes I would wash my hair, then I would be like one week will pass, two weeks will pass, and I would be like, oh, I'll wash it tomorrow. Oh, I wish wash it tomorrow. Just wash it tomorrow. And 15, 16 days will be gone, you know, and that is very, very bad of me. So I have to change my life. And I'm like, I have to come back. I have to be back. And I am back. 2021 is a different year. I'm working to get my hair to be, um, to get back its volume, if not more than that. Hello, Justin. Thank you for joining. If not more than that, I want my hair to get back at its volume completely and um, I know I can do that because um, already my roots are so so thick so I have to work in order to maintain the new growth that I've had uh oh there is something happening here let me add a little bit of oil and see if I can lose this knot that I created by myself by not losing this twist well. Okay, so I'm adding, I think this is not going, let me see. I'm adding, let me add the oil and see if I can do it. It's coming, but it's coming very, very slowly. Oh my goodness, what did I do? Oh, I had to, I had to drag it a little bit. So I'll have a little spot here. I'll work on it later after the, the her has infused with the oil. So I'll see if it will make it very easily. There is a way I'm doing it up here that is not, oh yeah, I'm on my crown. I always forget that the hair in my crown is so stubborn. So I have to lose it in a different way. Let me apply the oil first, all right? Then let me untwist it like this. Okay, without losing it yet, then lose it. Okay, apply more oils and go. <laughs> this is how I have to do it because the hair on my crown is so strange. It's um, it's more stubborn, even though it's not as kinky as the rest of my hair. It tends to get dry and tangled very, very easily compared to the rest of my hair. Okay, so when I'm losing it, I have to be careful. If not, what happened before will happen again okay so now let me apply the oil on my hair like this okay the oil is almost finished look at it i thought it was too much but it wasn't it was just the perfect amount oh my goodness it means my hair is thick, and that is a good thing because I'm looking for volume. I'm looking for volume. <laughs> I like the, the statement <laughs> because you were giving you motivation. <laughs> and it's true, you know. I was extremely motivated. And uh, watching the video, I realized that there were some things I did back then that I didn't use them again, but they really work on my hair. Like... I did a couple of videos where I used, um, what did I use? I used tomato to deep condition. And I went back to read again the qualities of using, the benefits of using tomato 
on the hair uh, topically, and they were amazing. And I asked myself, why didn't I use it again? Why? Then there was a day I used Apple, and Apple too has great benefits for the hair using them topical. Now, for those of you who are new, would be like, this girl be using food on her hair. Yes, it's true. But I just want to remind you that the products we also buy on supermarkets, they are um they have uh, they are breaking out from food. Okay, so it's not that it's something strange and um I can't use all these products that has chemicals, harsh chemicals in it. They have alcohols, they have preservatives, um, they have uh, fragrance, colorants. Unfortunately, I can't use them because my scalp, my skin doesn't react very well. So this is it, it's empty. Let me try to take what is left and place a little bit on my nape, a little bit on my crown and here. So now that I've finished, I used to give a little bit of massage. Good morning from Boston. Good morning, Bren. How are you? I've changed my wash day too, every two weeks. Is that good for curly hair? Well, Bren, that's, that depends. It depends on how your hair reacts. If you see that your hair likes it, then go ahead. I used to wash my hair uh, every two weeks as well. And um, I noticed that even though my hair likes it, my scalp didn't like it. So that is why I changed to every two, every week. So now it is sometimes I go two weeks, sometimes I go every week. For example, during this challenge, I want to go every week. But when we finished the last challenge, the previous challenge was January and February, I was washing my hair weekly. Then uh, in March, uh, where we didn't have any challenge, I wanted to take a break. So I washed my hair. Uh, twice that month so I wash my hair every two weeks now that we are in the challenge I will be going for every week again then after the challenge we have one month or two months break and during that period I will, I will be washing my hair every two weeks that's just to give a break a mental break to myself so that I will not be burned out um, washing my hair every week so it all depends on how your hair reacts there are naturals that wash their hair once a month Okay, and uh, the uh, and then they do co-washing um, during the rest of the months. There are some that wash their hair even once every two months, and they are good with that. We have natural that wash their hair uh, twice a week. Okay, so each one each one of us must find what is good for us. That's why what I'm showing you is what works for me. And it could be an inspiration for you as well, but it doesn't mean that what I am doing exactly will work for you. For example, let me give an example while I'm doing my scalp massage. I discovered that my scalp doesn't like um, aloe vera. So when I'm watching a do-it-yourself tutorial on YouTube where they are using aloe vera gel, I know I can't use aloe vera gel. So I have to substitute that either with flaxseed gel or with um, water, with plain water, okay? So I change it based on what are my needs and my preference. And that is what each and every one of us have to do. Coconut oil works for some, doesn't work for other. The same fenugreek, which our, um, uh, uh, how can I say, our challenge is based on, can work for some and not for others. For example, if you see that deep condition with your, uh, deep conditioning your hair with fenugreek uh, doesn't work, you can try using the oil, infusing the oil and see if we, you can pre-pull or do scalp massages with that so coming back to our um, challenge i hope i've answered i've answered you brain let me know please in the comment section um as i said the challenge is not only about using fenugreek we also have to drink at least eight glasses of water a day and eat one fruit eat one fruit at least one fruit every day that's because healthcare starts from inside our hair care starts from inside and do you know you can drink fenugreek as a tea i've not tried it yet i will try it as a tea and let you know how it goes i will probably video it then another thing we have to do is to do scalp massage at least four times in a week for 10 minutes if you can do it more than that you can go more than that you can do it even every day because scalp massage is really good and i to my own opinion is one of those practices that's really helped with 
uh, promoting her growth to reach the standard that is set in your DNA. So if you can do it even more than that, just go with it, it is perfect. Then another thing we have to do is regularly wash our hair, never to miss our wash day. If it is once a week, once a week. If it is twice a, twice a week, go with twice a week. If it is once every two weeks, go once every two weeks. Then the other thing we are doing is to moisturize our hair, re-moisturize our hair at least once a week, okay? So these are the rules and regulations. Make sure you take a picture of your hair before you start the challenge so that at the end of the two months, you can compare and see how your hair looks in terms of healthiness, in terms, in terms of growth, and in terms, in terms of volume, okay? Okay, so now I have finished to um, apply the oils and to uh, do my scalp massage. Let me wash my hands before... I show you the next step. Oh, the water is cold. How is the weather outside? It was hot over here in Italy last week. We got to reach even to 28 degrees, 27, 28. Then this week, even though it is sunny, it is cold again. It is cold. We have like 10, 11 degrees. So I hope by next week things are going to change. So on a normal base, I would have gone ahead to steam my hair. Uh, using, uh, where is it? Let me show you. Oh. This is what I normally use to see my hair. I will put it on my head. Then this other section goes into the dryer with hot air. And then I keep it on my head for 20 minutes. But since I am preparing the fenugreek, as I told you, and it's a process that is going to take me six hours instead of 12 hours. Let me show you. Uh, this is the fenugreek in preparation. Can you imagine that this came out, is coming out of eight, just from 80 grams. I put in only 80 grams of the two fenugreek, the two types of fenugreek that I have. This one, which is the fine, and this one. The reason why I mix the two is because I realized that this one doesn't have a lot of mucilage in it, while this one has. But this one is not fine, it's gross. So it means after I finish with preparing these, I have to sieve it to remove all the particles before I use it on my hair. So this procedure is still, I still have to go ahead for about, I think I still have three hours before I can use this. So there is no need for me uh, to just pre-pull my hair 20 minutes and wash it because I can't use the, um, the, uh, the deep condition right now. So what I'm doing is um, I'll keep it on my head until I have to use the, I can use the deep condition. So I will shampoo and go ahead. So it is good to pre pull for more than 20 minutes so that this will even give more time to all the ingredients that are in the oils, uh, in the essential oils, in the, in the herbs, uh, in the liquid that I use to penetrate my scalp and my hair. So this is just a shower cap that I'm using. Then I'm going to use, this is a deep condition cap that I prepared last year. And um, outside, it is actually double-sided. You can use it any side that you want. Um, this side, this part is made of, uh, it's not plastic, but is a material that doesn't allow water to pass, liquid to pass. And while the other side is made of, satin so i call it deep condition cap right uh this material my skin doesn't like it and i have lots of allergies so i'm not going to place this directly on my on my skin but i'm going to place this part with the satin on my skin but the correct thing to do is if you don't want to wear any uh, plastic cap you, you wear this upside down like this okay and you wear it like this but because i have issues with some type of materials. I'm wearing it like this, and this is how, why I put on the plastic cap. So this is going to keep in my hair the heat that I am producing, okay? This is going to keep it on my head, the heat that my body is producing. So this is a deep condition cap, or you can use it when you are doing, when you want to do, um, uh, a greenhouse method, okay? You can do a greenhouse method so that um, this will let your hair condition 
as long as uh, you want. This is the jumbo size, you know, I always like big things. <laughs> but in case you are going to somewhere and you're washing your hair, you can just put this one on and then put on a scarf, wear your scarf, cover it all, and you can just go wherever you want to go. <laughs> So you can find this in my shop on Etsy and my shop on Etsy is at the name NBB Cosmetics. So you can get it there and order it there. I think I've suspended, sorry, I've suspended the selling of this deep condition, this deep cap, this deep condition cap right now because we are on lockdown. And since we are locked down, I couldn't um, get this material because the shops, those shops are not essential shops. So they are closed. So after when we are out from the lockdown, uh, I will restock, restock it back again. My son is, is experimenting hair loss on his temple. We tried everything on the book. What do you think or recommend? I'm starting to think that it's, it is folliculous or dead. What do you think or do? Now, first of all, Bren, uh, do you know like what is the cause of uh, him losing hair on his temple. Uh, you have to find out what is the cause first, then remove that cause. If there is no cause, then you really have to go and see a doctor and see if maybe it is a focal folliculus, as you say, as you said, or something else. That is why I have to, I, I'm suggesting you should find out what is the reason, what is the cause, is because sometimes maybe he's wearing a, a, a scarf or a drag that is too tight and that could make the hair to be falling, or is he using something that is made of cotton? And so is is rubbing against his edges and making it and and making it to fall out. Is he using any product, any new product that is too harsh? His diet, how is his diet? Does he drink water enough water every day? Uh, does he eat fruit? Does he eat veggies? All these things are things that are very very important. Now for hair loss on the temple, I've seen that there is this girl in UK who is producing a wonderful oil. I've tried it. I also have it. Let me see if I can find it over here. I think yes. Oh, where is it? I think it's in the bedroom. Oh no, I don't have it. Here. Oh yes, here it is. This is the cream, and it's called uh, Zarina Hair Growth Oil. Can you see it? I'll add the link later so you can check her out. And. Um, Apart from the part that this oil is all natural, okay? You see, it's almost finished. It's up to here. I'm using it little by little because I don't want to, to finish. And you can place this where you are having the hair loss and massaging it, even every day. You see, it has an applicator. I mean, this is a luxurious packaging she has. This is how the oil looks. And it doesn't have uh, fake fragrances. It melts deliciously. So he can apply that on his temple and just gently massage the hair over there. And regrowth takes time. So he has to be confident and keep on doing it. And uh, whenever he's going to wash his hair, he can play before, like 15 minutes before washes, washing his hair, he can um, apply onion juice, not onion water, onion juice on this hair, apply it, uh, massage it a little bit, and then go to take his shower and rinse it out. And when he finished, he goes ahead with the uh, Zarina oil. I think Zarina is having a discount right now of 20% going on on her website. The website is zarinaocosmetics.com. You can find it there, okay? I will try my best to, I will link it, I'll add the link down below so you can check her oil out. And she is, she is black owned, okay? It's black owned and she's doing, she's doing marvelously well with this uh, oil. When it finished, I will buy it again because I also like it for to using it on my hair as a, um, a directly, it conditions it and I like the perfume it adds. So this is all for now. I'll be coming back later in the afternoon when I have to rinse it, when I have to detangle and shampoo so that we do it together. And then I will go on and deep condition my hair. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a, thumb, a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you have questions, just leave them down below. If you have tips for me, just write them down below and I will check them out. So thank you very much again. See you later. And meanwhile, always remember to remain natural black.
and beautiful. Mwah.